Hi boys and girls, it's me again. Uh, today we're gonna look at weavings. We are going to weave snakes into the grass. So the first thing we need to do are draw our snakes. You have a couple options. You can use colored paper here to draw your snakes so you have a little bit of a base color. You wanna try to make your snakes Nice and long, pretty straight. They can be wavy. You just don't want them curled up in a circle. Um, you could draw them on white paper too. Draw the head of the snake, the body of the snake. Again, nice and long and fairly straight. You could do a top view of the snake and draw two eyes and put some details going down the backs of the snake. Or you could draw the side of the snake, kind of put more of a one eye of the snake. And again, still add some details going down the back. You can really get creative here. There's not really a right or a wrong with it. Remember, mistakes happen, that's okay. You can see here, I already have two done where I've drawn them, cut them out and colored them. Remember, always take your time cutting, try to follow the lines as best that you can. Once you have a pile of snakes, I'm just gonna use two for my example. I would cut these ones out. You can see I used four or five for mine here. Um, we're ready to make the grass, what we're going to weave it into. The first thing we need to do is at one end of the grass, we're gonna cut it to look like grass. So we're gonna cut kind of an irregular zigzag line. As we know, grass doesn't have to be perfect. Kind of cutting it out in chunks here. Okay, so I just cut that along the top edge. The second step is we're going to have to fold this in half. So I'm just going to take it, the top, fold it up, or sorry, excuse me, take the bottom and fold it up towards the top. Give it a nice crease there, nice long fold. And now I'm going to make slits from the fold towards the top, but not cutting the whole way off. Make them maybe about an inch apart or so. So I'll make one cut, two cuts, three Again, trying to keep it consistent, but again, making sure I don't cut off the top. I don't want my paper to fall apart. So maybe one more here. There we go, they don't need to be perfect. So when I open it up, kind of flatten it back down, I have all these slits that I can weave my snakes in and out of. So what we wanna do, we're gonna take one of the snakes, doesn't matter how you start. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the first snake going over the first piece and under the second piece over the third piece, and then under the fourth piece, over, under, over. And you can see my snake weaves in and out of the grass. Now the trick with weaving is when you do your next one, when I do this one, I'm gonna go ahead and start opposite. So you see how this one is on top of the first strand of grass? This one I'm going to put underneath the first strand, so it's the opposite and then it's over top of the second, and then underneath the third, over, under, over, under. And you can see it's the opposite of the snake below it. Let me cut out one more snake here and show you. You can see I cut nice and neatly, taking my time. I would probably add a little color to this with my crayons or markers, but I'll just go ahead and cut it out for you to show you that part anyway. Cut along here, and we'll weave one more snake into it. You can have fun with this project. You could have everyone in your family make their own snake and weave them all together. That would be a way to get everyone involved. Now this one's gonna start the same as the first one. So it went over, under. So this one's gonna go over the first one, under the second, over, under. Notice how I have to use both hands to kind of lift it up, slide it under, and pull it through. And again, you can see it's the opposite. And you can continue to add snakes until you run out of room. If you don't have green paper, you could always just use white paper and color it green. If you don't have colored paper for snakes, again, just use white paper and color them. I tried to do a little bit of both on mine. This is a fun one. You can practice it over and over, take them out, redo it in different ways. Again, like I said, you could get your whole family involved. So I hope you enjoy this one. See you next time.